expired for sale by owners. You either love them or you hate them. Today, I have a very special guest. His name is Robert Villanueva, and he is a Mike Ferry coach. 23 years in the business, a little over 2,300 deals closed in that time frame. Uh, first year in the business, I did 42. Second year, I did 86. My best year was 156 deals, 1.4 million in commissions. Um, I've been now a Mike Ferry coach since 2014, so pretty close to about 10 years now. And I've coached you know, pretty close to about 400 realtors. And I love, love coaching because it gives me the opportunity as when people ask me, what do you do for a living? And I say, I get to make millionaires. Yeah. So yeah. And, and, and it's fun. I want to do just one quick role play session. Sure. Where you are the agent. I'm the first sale by owner. And, mm -hmm. and we're going to see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I role play every single day. Um, I still do 23 years in and every single the, the cool thing about it is every single person that I role play with. I mean, they average about one point eight million dollars. So I I role play with the big hitters. I don't you know, and, and I'm not trying to put anybody else down, but you have to be able to build that skill set up and keep it sharp. You know, even after yeah. 23 years, I, I still have to work on that. So, yeah, absolutely. Let's role play and then uh, let's give it a shot. Let's see what comes out of it. OK. All right. So ring ring. There we go. So yeah, ring ring. You're the. Oh yes, I'm the I'm the physical. <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to being the agent. That's how you know how much I wrote to you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Hello. Hello, Loida. Uh, who is this? Loida. Hi, my name is Robert. I'm with uh, Blank Blank Realty, and the reason I'm calling you is I help a lot of for sale by owners here in the area. Oh, and no, I was... I'm not looking for a, a for a listing agent, but if you have a buyer, you can bring them over. I, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I do have an inventory of buyers. See, Lloyd, a part of my job is to not only know the houses that are in the MLS, but also properties that are off the MLS. Now, out of curiosity, though, I mean, where are you thinking about making a move when you do sell this property? Um, well, this is actually an investment property. We're not really in a rush to sell. We already have our, our you know, primary home, but, you know, the market's been kind of crazy. We're thinking about selling it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, so what I love what you're saying is you're talking about this is an investment property. Out of curiosity, have you ever sold a a, uh, a property on your own before? Yeah, I did about five years ago, and we Good got multiple you. offers. I think I sold like ten thousand above asking price. So I'm pretty yeah. familiar with the paperwork, and um, some of my friends own an escrow company. So Good. yeah. Awesome. Now, when you actually sell this property, are you planning on reinvesting the property back into real estate or are you just going to keep it and put it under the mattress? Um, I'm probably going to just cash out. Good. Good for you. Awesome. And now, as far as time frame is concerned, Loida, how soon are you wanting to cash out? Well, I'm not really in a rush. I know sure. that the interest rates are high, so there's not that many buyers out there. Mm -hmm. And I really want to get my price. If I can't get my price, I'll just, you know, I'll just wait, even if it takes like six months. Yeah, absolutely. And I do see here, if you don't mind confirming, I see a sales price of seven fifty. Is that the price that you're asking? Yes. Oh, okay. So tell me a little bit about how you came up with that price. How'd you determine that? Um, there was a home that recently sold around the corner and okay. their house was a little bit smaller than ours. Mm -hmm. So I took that our property is in much better condition as well. And, you know, I went on Zillow. I saw the Zestimate too. So that's kind of what I'm using. Nice. Good for you. You definitely sound like an educated seller. I love working with sellers like yourself. Now you got this as an investment property. You're not really in a rush. You're not in a position where you're absolutely desperate. You're trying to maximize your profit. So you're, you're in a great position. Now I'm curious though, Lloyd, why did you decide to sell yourself rather than list with a real estate agent like myself? Uh, well, now with the internet and there's like so many different places that I can just do everything on my own, you know, sure. put it online, the MLS. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I did sell a home five years ago. So mm -hmm. I'm already familiar with the paperwork and my friend owns an escrow company. So that's why I figured, you know what, if I can save myself uh, 3% for paying an agent, a listing mm -hmm. agent, I'm just going to try and keep it my, myself. Absolutely. And, and Lloyd, out of curiosity, how long have you actually been on the market? Um, it's been about 45 days. Wow. Okay. A any bites so far in the last 45 days? Uh, there were some investors that were trying to lowball me, but you know, mm. like I said, I'm, I'm looking for my price and yeah. I'm willing to be patient. Yeah, absolutely. So you got a bunch of tire kickers <laughs> is what you got. Yeah, seriously. Okay. Yeah. Tire All kickers. right.
Yeah, I get that. I understand it. It's it's really interesting. I'm I'm sure you probably have gotten more interest from agents and from investors than you have actually got from bona fide uh, buyers, right? Yeah, I mean it's so annoying. But look, I'm retired, uh, so I'm okay with just handling these calls. Sure, I totally get that. Now, if you were to list, though, I'm curious who who would you even consider listing with? Um, I don't really have anybody in mind. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, what would you expect an agent to do if you were to list? Um, get me more than what I'm asking. <laughs> you know, Loida, that's exactly the reason why I'm calling you. I'd love the opportunity to share with you with what I do different from a lot of the other realtors. I'm sure you can see I'm a little bit different than the other realtors you've spoken to, right? Well, I've definitely had a much longer conversation with you than <laughs> other agents. That's for yeah. sure. I mean, one agent even told me that I was stupid and dumb for doing this on my own. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is we have so many stupid and dumb realtors in the business. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's, it's a touche back and return to that realtor. And that's unfortunate. But you know what? What I want to do, Lloyd, is I actually want to take a look at your property. I'd love the opportunity. I have an inventory of buyers. I'd love the opportunity to sit down with you and see exactly how I can maximize your profits. Because it sounds to me that you want the most amount of money is what you're what you're trying to say, correct? Absolutely. I mean, okay. do you have a specific buyer for my house, though? I, I really don't. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be like another realtor and try to pretend like I have a specific buyer. I have an inventory of buyers. And what I want to do is I want to see the home myself so that that way I can go ahead and find the right buyer for your home. What I can do, Loida, is I'm actually going to be in your neighborhood later on today. I could stop by at five o'clock or would it be better if I stop by tomorrow at five o'clock? Uh, you can stop by, but I'm not going to sign anything. Loida, I'm not asking you to sign anything at this moment. All I'm asking for is maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I'd love the opportunity to get to know each other. I know you have realtors a dime a dozen, but what I want to do is I want to take a look at your property, number one. Number two, get a little bit more detail in regards to your motivation. And then, of course, number three, I'd love the opportunity to get to know each other. Did you want to do that today at five or would tomorrow at five o'clock work better for us? Um, you know what? I would probably have to check with my husband, but mm -hmm. maybe tomorrow would be better. Why don't we do this? I'm going to go ahead and pull up some information. I'm going to go ahead and gather some things anyways. Talk to your husband. Let him know that you spoke with a great realtor. You do your job in terms of convincing him. I'll bring some information for us to go ahead and review. And I'll see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock, okay? Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of how my conversations go. Sure. And for those of you that are listening, you're probably going to have to go back and listen to this again. One of the things that I love that, that you did, and obviously you've been doing this for a really long time, is that you, you talked to me like I was a human, almost like we were friends already. And you yeah. were listening to what I was saying. And I think that's a mistake that a lot of agents uh, do is that they're just going down the list of questions in the script and then that's when you start getting the questions from the physical like why are you asking me all of this or mm -hmm. they hang up so yeah. uh, that was awesome Robert yeah. I really appreciate you doing this and sure. for those of you once again rewatch this take a lot of notes and for anyone that wants to get a hold of you where can they find you? What do you offer? How can they connect? Really just look at my name, Robert Villanueva. I know that the last name is not the easiest to spell, but Robert Villanueva. I'm on YouTube as The Robert Villanueva. I'm on um, uh, Instagram as The Robert Villanueva. I'm on Facebook as Robert Villanueva. So you don't have to worry about all of these kooky names. Uh, just literally just look up my name and you, you'll, you'll find me on, on, you'll find me on Facebook, Instagram. Um, I mean, literally every single last social media. 